I've been living in LA for almost six years now and there are a few things that I consider very LA. Even if they're in many other cities, they didn't start here. Like, I'm just like, oh, that's very LA. Uh, Erewhon, recent taste test. Uh, Equinox, the fanciest, most expensive gym in the world, I feel like. Uh, and Face Gym. Yes, friends, Face Gym, a gym for your face. So a while back, I was staying at the one hotel in the West Hollywood area. And right next to it, we walked by as we were walking the guy Dougie, and my mom was like, face gym? I was like, face gym? And I've been intrigued ever since. And then I saw Miss Michaela Nagira, the queen herself, do a TikTok on it a while back, and I was like, okay, now I've got to try it. So, face gym, what is it you might ask? That's a great question, we're gonna find out today, but from the research I've done, it opened in 2014. They have 19 locations around the world in places like England, Australia, and America. And essentially it combines a typical facial, so skincare, with kind of more high-tech tools, so like a more fancy facial, um, and exercises. So there's 40 muscles that make up the face that they say are forgotten about. You work out your body at the gym, but none of us work out our face typically. So they've developed a method of hooking, poking, pinching, smacking, <laughs> that works out and trains the muscles in your face. Now, I'm almost 30. I live in Hollywood. I work in the entertainment industry. <laughs> I'm surrounded by my friends, you know, going and getting treatments done, um, like Botox and filler and laser treatments and cosmetic surgery and more power to you. I am all about everybody doing what they want with their body, your body, your choice, I support it, and I have no judgments towards it. It scares me, and I couldn't, I don't think I could personally do it, but, you know, a little pinching never hurt. Well, actually, maybe it might hurt, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I was like, this could be like a very interesting alternative for somebody like myself who, you know, wants to try to age as gracefully as possible, but without doing any kind of excess things to my face. So I'm really intrigued for my appointment to see how this goes. And who knows, if I really like it, this might be something that I actually consider doing. Also, I wanna show you my fit though. I feel really cute. I don't actually feel cute because I woke up this morning with my period. So I'm actually feeling rather bloated, crampy and bleh. But I feel cute like aesthetically. So I have this hat on. It's like a tan color with a little white logo. It's from Free People Movement. Um, I had like, no baseball hats for the summer. I had all bucket hats and your girl loves a bucket hat. That's why I have so many. But I was like, I feel like I need a baseball hat. And I think this color is gonna go with a lot of my summer wardrobe. And then I just have this baby tee. It was like 10 bucks at Zara and it's so comfortable. I have these pants on from Lululemon that I've had for years. I love these pants and I have the matching sweater because it is still chilly. June gloom is coming through. We've got my FU bag and my FU shoes isn't this kind of like a lazy day casual girl i'm on my period and i'm going to the gym for my face kind of a look i do i approve all right thanks Jim the approved. gym is waiting which you know what this is great i'm used to working w working out and like waking up really sore the next day this one's probably just gonna help me get rid of some of this hormonal period acne Elton and I have arrived. Now they are promising things on their website like immediate results. I honestly have no idea what that means. They say things like lymphatic drainage, helping with your metabolism of your skin or something like that. Like there's so many interesting things. So hopefully I'll get a chance to chat with my esthetician a little bit and find out some more, but let's head inside. Got my face gym headband on. I'm feeling very official. It's giving like a dentist office or hairdresser vibes. Like you're just in a chair in the middle of the room. I kind of like it. It's a vibe. I feel everybody else's energy. I'm getting the like buckle fat massage to help with TMJ, which I'm very excited about. And uh, let's get working out. It's like all my face muscles are like twitching involuntarily. It's so strange. It's so very weird. I've never felt anything like this. Ooh, like there. <laughs> this is our EMS device. It's detoxing, lifting, and toning the muscles. It's an electrical muscle stimulator, and it's equivalent to about 600 sit-ups for the muscles in the face. So you're seeing this involuntary muscle movement, um, and we'll be able to see a difference from the right side of her face in comparison to the left side. Your eyebrows look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're making fun of me or not. No, I think they look good. So you see we've done the right side of her face. 
Um, if you see here, it's a bit more defined here in the jawline here versus this side. More contoured here under the cheek versus here. And overall, just more deep puffed on this side versus this side. And a slight shift up versus this side. So we're gonna start off with the warm up. We'll do some cardio, the sculpting, and the cool down. Um, we use a combination of my hands, our gua sha tool, and then our pure lift device, which is really gonna deep puff lift and tone the muscles. Here we're seeing some footage of Molly getting her face massaged. She looks kind of like lymphatic drainage. And then she uses the plumping and sculpting tool. It's like a white tool with two metal round balls at the end of it. And she's using it on Molly's jawline. Then there's a great shot of Elton just laying peacefully next to Molly while she works out. <laughs> Here we're seeing this big red ball get rolled and pressed all over Molly's face. <laughs> we're gonna start with the deep clean. So this is high pressurized oxygen. Um, this is colloidal silver, saline, hyaluronic acid, and aloe. And it's gonna help with cleansing the pores. Okay. Kind of feels like we're power washing your face. So it's gonna be cold, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is our cryo gun. It's high pressure CO2 um, and it pushes hyaluronic acid deep into the skin. It's equivalent to about 10 glasses of water for the skin to really hydrate the skin and plump it. Okay. Which my dehydrated skin desperately needs. <laughs> <laughs> Here we're seeing a device used on Molly's face to help with hydration. It looks like, kind of like a massage gun mixed with a temperature gun. Then we're seeing some thin metal tools. They look kind of like gua sha, but they're metal and they're running along Molly's cheeks. And then Molly is getting a nice shoulder and neck rub. All right, I just got out and Miss Neve Burke is like complimenting me yeah. on the difference. It looks good. What do you see, Mom? More plumped up skin, more hydrated skin for sure. Yeah, it looks the great. The smile lines you said are gone. Yeah, yeah, gone. Went in with smile lines, came out with none. What do you guys think? That was like the craziest facial I've ever had. It was nothing like anything I've experienced, and I've had many facials over the years. I would say prices are pretty on par with LA skin, like LA facial prices, which is expensive but that's literally everything in LA but it was such a different unique experience I, I feel like it was worth it I would I would do this again I got the massage where she put her fingers in my mouth and massaged out my TMJ it was so funny I have the tightest jaw like I just had to get another new night guard because I chewed through it again at night while I sleep my dentist had to get a hard hard one which he said is only used in very special circumstances for extreme clenchers so I wear that with a uh, badge of honor. I have very tight jaw. At one, when she was doing it, she's like, is your jaw relaxed? And I was like, yeah, this isn't relaxed. <laughs> it's just that firm and tight. So that I think was really good for me. And when she was doing it, it like this flashback happened where I remembered how back when I had um, vocal nodules and I was in speech therapy for chronic laryngitis, they told me to do that form of massage to release the tension around my mouth and jaw. So when I speak, I speak with less tension. Um, so yeah, I, I think this was a win and it was, I just think the whole branding is really cute. They say they're muscle first, so they really focus on the muscles and then the skincare is the secondary. Um, they have all different add-ons and they do things like rolling these red balls around your face. They do like a stretch, a warm up, cardio, sculpting, the cool down. It's very cute. So 10 out of 10 would recommend and what I would also recommend right now is food. So let's go get lunch. We just popped over to the one hotel to grab a quick lunch because it's a whole wellness day. I'm trying all the like LA health things that you see all these celebrities doing. So after this, we're going to an oxygen bar where I'm gonna sniff some oxygen and then get a vitamin ID, ID drip. <sighs> Clearly my mind is not working. I'll blame the hormones. Um, but first I need to eat because that's an hour and a half of breathing and getting well, vitamins pumped through my veins. So we're getting a breakfast burrito that we're splitting and I got this cold pressed juice. I always get like an apple lemon ginger juice if they have it. Oh my God. It hits my taste buds so right every freaking time. If I could drink this daily, I would. Wow, the bustling streets of Beverly Hills are loud. 
Um, I'm super excited. So now I'm gonna go to the oxygen bar. I've been hearing about these for God, like probably 10 plus years. Apparently they have different types of oxygen that you get to breathe in that do different things, I believe, from my understanding. Like you can pick one that makes you happy. You can pick one that makes you sleepy, that makes you feel relaxed, that makes you feel energized. So I'm gonna do that for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna get a one hour vitamin infusion. Something I've been seeing increasingly on social media and a lot of celebrities talk about getting it, like Justin Bieber, Hailey Bieber. Um, who's that other one? The Goop Woman? Gwen, 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 whatever. Gwen Paltrow? Gwen Paltrow. Like I hear all those folks talk about it now. I don't know if it works or not, but I can say I do take vitamins and I've been on a vitamin regime since I was like 14 years old. I go on and off, you know, we all go through phases and I notice such a huge difference when I'm on them. The regime I'm on right now is all ones recommended like by my medical doctor, you know? So I feel like vitamins do make a big difference, but we'll see what getting them infused does because your girl has choked on way too many things and I've developed an extreme fear of taking pills because the last time I choked, I almost died and it was on a supplement. So now I like will only take liquid supplements or really tiny ones. So this could be a good alternative for me. Anava, let's go. All right, so I just looked at my menu here and I have lots of different options. I ended up going with the hangover IV, even though I'm not hungover. Um, the nurse just said that's the one that personally makes her feel the best. It has vitamin B, B12, vitamin C, and magnesium. So all good things that most of us are not like fully stocked in, you know? Most of us are depleted of those things. So that's the one I'm gonna get. And then for the oxygen, I'm doing 30 minutes in like a pressurized tank. So it's like this little pod that you go into and it pressurizes like an airplane. And then you have an oxygen mask on. And she said it's supposed to really help boost your energy. I don't know, I'm excited, I'm intrigued. Let's see how this goes. I feel like this could be one of those things I could see people getting addicted to. Should people joke that oxygen is their drug of choice? It just like makes them feel so good. Should a lot of people come in before a long day of business meetings or before a long day on set shooting um, just to give them that extra boost of energy. So let's get breathing all the oxygen. <laughs> I appreciate you showing me where to go. <laughs> He's like, no, I want, I want the oxygen. There you go with grandma. I feel That's like it. you're getting into a spaceship. <laughs> it's like a combo of being at the doctor's with the those things. It's a private jet. <laughs> yeah, it's a private jet with my medical team. Just got out of the oxygen chamber. I'm very excited to have been reunited. Just got my blood pressure taken. Did it change at all? It did actually. It actually dropped. It went down. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Look at that. My blood pressure lowered, so I um, it was it was weird because at first the first like five minutes I, I actually got really anxious and I think it's because like I have a lot of medical trauma and it was making me think of like surgery like having the air like gas mask and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. I think it was making me feel like memories of like like I kept being like oh is this gonna make me feel like the way gas when you get to sleep makes me feel or like it just was making me like anxious even though I knew it was just a regular oxygen. Um, but that's how trauma works, it's fun. Um, but then I like calmed myself down, I just kept breathing, telling myself I was safe and I was okay and I, this was not a medical situation. And then I like started to really relax. And I was like closing my eyes and I started to just feel really comfortable. And I got really like sleepy and relaxed, which is probably why my blood pressure dropped. <laughs> and now it's time for some vitamins. And you know what I was thinking? When I got my Epstein-Barr virus diagnosis back in the fall of 2022, um, the only other thing that showed up on my blood work that the doctor did was that I was low in vitamin B12, but I struggled to take it orally because it makes me really nauseous even when I do it with food. So, getting it in the, in the IV will be good for me. So I just did an interview with a nurse practitioner to get cleared to make sure that I'm allowed to get the IV drip with, you know, my medical stuff that I got going on, specifically protein S deficiency disorder, and they cleared me, so I'm about to get it. Um, but I have baby veins. I have tiny, tiny veins. So they just have to go get a, a smaller needle. Go ahead. So right now we're doing this so that the blood can pool. And so her vein can pop out even more for me. Your favorite thing in the world. I know. I always like close my eyes, which is so stupid because I can't even see the needle. Do you want me to count when, I, when I'm when i about to insert? Yeah, just give it three, two, one. Three, two, one. Wow, you have strong blood. <laughs> it's actually pushing through. <laughs> Is that good? Or? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Okay. It means it's, you have strong valves. All right. So right now I'm just gonna pull your blood back a little bit more 
And then I'm gonna push the normal saline into your arm. Okay, you wait, will I feel it. anything? You might taste it. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, uh, it's, some people will or they will or not. Uh, okay, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I feel anything? No, 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 you're not gonna feel anything in your heart or chest. You won't even feel anything systemically. Yeah. You just might taste like some, it's like eye drops. You know, imagine drinking eye yes. drops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, I, I, I'm just looking from a distance. This is, that's kind of freaking me out. All right, it's going. Don't I taste do, it. I do taste a little it. bit, right? Yeah, it's I taste weird it. Right taste away. it. <laughs> but it should go away. If it, if you start, if the taste makes you like nauseated or anything, just let me know. I'll stop it. Okay. Okay. It tastes like I'm taking vitamins. It's like really strange. As somebody who really struggles to take my pills, this is much easier. I don't love a needle, but I like it a lot more than the intense anxiety of choking. Ooh, my arm is getting cold now. This is so weird. I've got my overpriced blue Aerolum smoothie in hand. I've got my shirt on that says breathe. Nice reminder. Uh, and this is going to be the wrap up for my wellness day in LA, trying like LA wellness trends. It is two days later, full disclosure. My period took took me out, okay? It's two days later, I'm on day three now, day one and two. Ooh, they were rough days. So I feel like I didn't necessarily try these things in the best time because I can't really speak to the benefits or how it made me feel because how I felt was overridden by ridiculous amounts of hormones pumping through my system. Um, I can say I thought, oh, how cute to end the video with like a very LA a wellness smoothie in hand and I was like oh I'll try the coconut cloud one which is what this one's called my mom took b-roll of when it was pretty so this is what it looks like when it's actually pretty because I usually get the strawberry sklingaze sklinglaze sklinglaze I usually get the strawberry sklinglaze skin glaze smoothie formerly known as the Hailey Bieber smoothie and I'm obsessed it's so good I rarely get it but when I do I'm so pleased but I saw these people on TikTok being like nah that one sucks this one's the this one's the goat so I tried it the other one's so much better. Like, it's actually, like, everybody's entitled to their own opinion and has different taste buds, but it's actually shocking to me that there's people who think this one's better. Shocking. Um, so if you're going off my recommendation, strawberry skin glaze, not the coconut cloud. That's not the point. Do any of these things really work? Well, my mom seemed to agree that I had instant results from the face gym. I think the thing is to get long-term results, truly lasting results, you're gonna have to go every, like, two to three weeks. And that's really expensive. However, getting plastic surgery and filler and Botox is also expensive and probably even more expensive and definitely more invasive. So definitely a good option for people who, I don't know, have the funds to do it and feel like they would benefit. It exists and it worked. The vitamin drip and the oxygen. I prefer the vitamin drip to the oxygen. Again, I didn't get to test it at the right time because I was just like exhausted and hormonal. So it was hard for me. Like they're like, oh, you're gonna get lots of energy from the oxygen. I felt tired, <laughs> just as tired. Um, So I don't know that I would do it again. Maybe I would do it one more time on a day when I'm feeling like a normal human to see if I get better effects from it. And then the vitamin drip, um, I also elected to get a vitamin D shot because they can't put vitamin D in a drip. You have to get it a shot. So I got it shot right into my booty cheek and that didn't hurt at all. I need vitamin D in my life. So I got that in my drip, the vitamin B12, which I am lacking in, like my blood work, my blood work tells me I'm lacking. Um, usually orally, it makes me nauseous. It did not make me nauseous through the drip, which was great but I can't say I felt any specific effects. I did smell the vitamins in my urine the next like 10 times that I peed, the way you would if you took vitamins in the morning and went pee. I've done like a little bit of research and it seems that like, depending on how much they put in your drip, a lot of it does just get flushed in your pee. Um, and they say it's just very expensive urine because your body can only absorb so many vitamins at once. And so if they're putting like, 25,000 milligrams of vitamin B, your body can actually only absorb 2,000 of those. So it's basically useless. So I don't know because then I've heard other things where people are like, this was life changing. Like getting my vitamin drips has like changed my life. Um, it's super expensive. So it's one of those things where part of me is like, I wish I knew about this when I was really, really sick with Epstein-Barr virus and maybe this would have helped me recover faster. I wish I'd known about this my entire childhood when I would spend eight months of the year sick uh, because I have such a bad immune system. Maybe this would have really helped me. But then the other side of me is like, maybe it is just really expensive here and then it's not worth it. So I don't know. 
It's a thing I tried, it was interesting, and it was an experience. I'd love to hear your perspectives and opinions on these things down below. Do I think any of these things are necessary? No, these are all luxuries. And they're all luxuries in both the price tag and like that you don't need these. There's many ways to, to feel good, to look good that don't involve spending all of that money on things. Um, and it's certainly a privilege to be able to get all of those things done. They're not necessary and that's why I deem them all like very like LA health trends, the rich and the famous going and doing these things whether they work or not just because they have the money to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish my overpriced smoothie and until next time you can click over here to see me learning to surf or you can click here to see me do an Erewhon taste test where I tried so many different foods from Erewhon. Ooh, was it worth it?